Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the final is here. There is a lot going on with this game today. A really big promo team, it looks like, based off of the leaks that we have for all of these clubs and these players that are chasing European glory in each of the three competitions that we will see special cards representing today. So what I want to do is take a look at Road to the Final, look at the leaks, look at the expectations for this game today. We are going to have SBCs, objectives most likely, and new packs in the store all around the Road to the Final promo. And of course, there's some content already on this game that is refreshing today, aka the 89 plus FIFA World Cup Prime Icon Upgrade. We will be able to do this once more again today on Friday. I think that's going to impact the market. And of course, these brand new Road to the Final cards are going to impact the market as well. So we're going to take a look at all of that today. If you're excited for Road to the Final, hit the thumbs up on the video. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's start from top because we actually know three cards that are going to be in packs today. It was EA Sports yesterday via the UEFA Champions League official Twitter page. Uh, telling us and showing us three official cards. These are the exact cards we're going to see in game today. This is like taking leaks to the next level, dropping the cards early, but they often do this with Champions League promos anyway. First of all, we have David Alaba with a upgrade over his Rule Breakers card from earlier on this year. These are official stats. Again, by the way, 83 pace. Some people will look at that and say, man, that's not that big of an upgrade. We have to remember these cards are live and upgrading. So maybe EA is not giving a really big boost to Alaba because they expect Real Madrid to go far in the competition and this card to get many upgrades, right? That's maybe the thought process behind that. But that's a very good looking card, probably going to be pretty meta in game. Not like amazing looking, but pretty good, right? Now, Firmino, I think this might be the best card or the top kind of headlining promo card in this promo team today. 91 rated, a huge boost from Firmino's 83 rated gold card up to the 91. Uh, 88 pace, 94 dribble. His card is also on the loading screen, the Brazilian with 94 dribble. So he is going to be in packs today. And then Daniel Malin is the card for Dortmund, right? It's kind of like we look at each of these players as representing their club throughout the competition. So the Dortmund card is Malin. He looks decent, right? Not that fantastic. Of course, we just had the Adeyemi. So we're like, okay, another Dortmund striker. It is what it is. But those are the three official cards that will be a part of the team today. Watch the UEFA Champions League Twitter page today about an hour before content as well. They might be posting more cards and releasing more info there because they do that often now i'm remembering this from last year as well for road to the final promos and stuff they will tweet out some cards early from this account potentially again today that is a possibility now we've had a lot of leaks right and i want to fly through these leaks because the question is is this going to be a team one and two promo where it's two weeks long or are all of these coming into packs today? I'm kind of leaning towards the second one of those because as you can see, these early leaks that we had early on say team one, you know, team one, team one. But a lot of the current leaks, they don't say team one. I actually think this is just going to be a one week promo. But like in previous years, there's going to be a lot of special cards in packs. The only SBC leak that we have right now as I'm recording this video is Musa Diaby. He could be our player SBC leak today. Could be later on in the weekend. Not entirely sure, but again, we've seen this card. Not that insane of an item, but it could be a lot of fun, especially if it's really cheap. Leverkusen live card. Of course, they did not win yesterday. Monaco won, so that's it's starting off in the mud, you could say, a little bit for potential upgrades. But to get to the rest of these leaks, Martinelli, right? We've seen that. Chiesa, he is the Italian on the loading screen with a 94 pace. I believe that is his card. That's a big one. We've got Kevin Valens in this team coming today. Miranda for Real Batiste. Anthony Martial is your Manchester United card. What a game yesterday uh, in the draw between Man U and Barcelona. So both those teams have everything to play for in the second leg and upgrades on the line. Of course, Martial is going to be one of the cards we see today. Lamella is coming today. Um, Nuno Mensch, finally some Champions League cards, right? This is our PSG live card. I think we're a little bit disappointed with Nuno Mensch, right? We are maybe wanting like Neymar, maybe Marquinhos. But Nuno Mensch is a really, really nice card. And of course, a lot of people need a left back for PSG links. And of course, Nuno Mensch is very overpowered in FIFA. Just his gold card early in the game and his inform. But we just had the um, Nuno Tavares objective as well. So this one kind of, you know, hits a little bit, I guess, different after that has been released, even though that one's very expensive. I expect this card to be pretty expensive today as well because I know PSG are down 1-0 on aggregate, but 
they have a great chance to still come back and potentially continue to move on through the rounds and get some upgrades for this card. That's going to be a very popular card today. Ferran Torres, there's your Barcelona card. Um, Firmino, right on the loading screen, his stats are confirmed. 91 rated, 5-star skills for us that weak foot on his base card. That's a W card. Lucas Mora is your Tottenham card. I'm excited about this one. Um, and I don't know what the stats are going to be, but that could be a very meta card as well since he is very pacey, really good dribbling, um, and that's a fun one I'm looking forward to today. David Alba, of course, we saw that. That's a confirmed card as well with the stats for him. A tall is the conference card that is on the loading screen right now. 94 pace for a tall. Not that massive of an upgrade from his gold card, but he's getting a promo card. He is back. Use of a tall is in this road to the final team. Uh, moving up the list, Goretzka is our Bayern Munich card. So Goretzka actually with his second live upgrading card of the year. He had the path to glory already this year, but it didn't get any upgrades. So I guess EA was like, hey, we'll give you a second chance, Goretzka. Here's another live card. So he's representing Bayern Munich and their chase for Champions League glory. Fofana for Chelsea. Wesley Fofana, that is. We just had Body of Shield. This one, to me, is one of the most underwhelming cards uh, as a part of all the leaks that we have seen. We just had Body of Shield, um, and I think EA could have done better here. A Reese James, a Mason Mount would have been a lot more hype, I think, to more people than a Fofana. But nonetheless, that's our Chelsea special card. And then the most recent leak that we have is Barella. This one looks pretty exciting as well. The face stats don't look that good, um, but you know, it is predicted stats, right? All of these stats, besides what we have seen for these three cards, are predicted. So Barella may be more juiced than this, but Barella is always really saucy and really, really good in game. So it's all going to come down to A, how EA boost these stats up today. Are these going to be cards they don't boost the stats up on very much because they expect some of these guys to get upgrades? You know, of course, with these live cards, they expect some teams to progress further than others, most likely. So will some cards not get that big of upgrades and other ones get bigger ones? You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of the thing we really have to look out for today. And the other question I want to ask is, is this really hype? Like, I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments down below before we hit, uh, get to content today. Is this, with the leaks that we are seeing right now, is it really hype for you guys? I know a lot of people yesterday were talking about, Nate, it's just the same recycle players over and over and over. I do understand where you're coming from with that year over year. Like, yes, we get a special Firmino card every year. Yes, we get special Goretzkas, but this is a new FIFA, right? And these guys haven't got a lot of specials this year. Firmino is getting a plus nine upgrade today, guys. Like, he's going from an 83 to a 91. That is actually pretty massive. Alaba's only got the Rule Breakers SBC. Um, he's finally going to have a card on the market that you can buy. The Rule Breakers, of course, is you can't get it because it, it's gone and it's expired. And so many other cards like Lucas Mora, um, you know, cards that have maybe had one inform earlier on this year. I think it's a decent player selection, but it really comes down to the stats today for us to really see how much EA is going to go all out with the cards in packs. I also believe that there's probably some more leaks to come. I, I think we are going to see more news and information because right now I think we have maybe like 16 or 17 leaked cards, which is a lot. Um, and again, I really do believe this is a one week promo because also one of the things that Foot Sheriff tweeted out yesterday is that the upgrades start this coming Friday. The uh, what is it? The 24th? Yeah, the 24th of Friday will be the first upgrades for these road to the final cards so i would imagine that all the cards have to be out before some upgrades would come in so that's why i think it's going to be a massive promo team today watch out for a few more leaks we only have a couple conference league cards so i would imagine a couple conference league cards could still be leaked uh, as of yet, we don't have a Milan card yet as well. So like an AC Milan card, they're obviously in Champions League. There's some other clubs that don't have cards representing them yet, which could be available via SBC or Objective, but I would expect to see a few more leaks today. So definitely watch out for that on this game. Now, speaking of Objectives, I don't know if we are going to get an objective today. We don't have a leaked uh, objective card player right now. And we had so many this last week with all of Future Stars Academy players. I could honestly see EA not doing an objective today, but they also could. So that's just kind of something to, uh, to keep in mind for the content today. And then, of course, as it always impacts the market every single week with new cards coming into packs, we always take a look at the store. What is the pack weight going to be? What special cards or what special packs are going to be available? Like, is this 84 plus elite pack or like a 500k pack? Or are they going to drop anything like that with Road to the Final this weekend? Um, could that impact the market? It absolutely could. So that's always a question mark heading into a Friday content day is what is EA going to do there? Now, the last thing that I think we're going to learn a lot about today, and there's a lot going on with this Road to the Final with the upgrades, how those are going to work. 
We're waiting for a lot of information from EA Sports today, but this is something I am so curious about today. Um, Road to the Finals Rewind. And they show a lot of like flashback SBCs here. Um, and Foot Sheriff says it'll be to celebrate knockout shocks and comebacks from those competitions. It sounds like it's going to be an SBC based part of this promo. I'm actually the most excited for this, I think, out of everything because the potential here is fantastic, right? Imagine a Sergio Roberto special card for the massive comeback, right? We all remember that game, right? So, you know, that sort of, uh, of potential here with this content, I think, is something that I'm very excited about. Um, so watch out for more leaks around maybe flashback cards or moments SBCs and probably some news from EA today about this on their official webpage. That's where we're going to, like I said, figure out a lot of what is going on with this promo today on this game. So that's kind of the content that I would expect today. Definitely still some question marks on what SBC will we get, um, how many players are going to be in packs and the like. But watch out for some more leaks today because we could see and get some more information from those. Now, with that being said, let's talk market a little bit because how will these cards be impacting the market today? Well, of course, like any promo Friday, people will want to go out and they will want to try these cards. And with a lot of cards dropping on the market today, that could mean a lot of people People want to go try out a lot of different cards, and especially if the pack weight is high, which I'm not expecting. Pack weight usually isn't that high for Road to the Final cards, and Road to the Final cards are usually pretty expensive. I mean, if you remember Road to the Knockouts earlier on this year, these guys were pretty expensive as well, and the reason they are expensive is because they are live, and they get upgrades, and people know that from the get-go, um, and that makes their prices just a little bit more inflated because of that, and usually the pack weight's not that high anyways on live cards, so that's just kind of how it is. I don't believe that there will be a lot of panic selling today heading into the content drop. I'm not expecting to see prices go down a lot unless we have some crazy leaks. That'd be the only thing I would think that would really impact meta prices on this game today. Um, until we get to content, I'm not expecting a ton of movements, to be completely honest. Actually, what we've seen recently in recent weeks is that the market's very high on Friday mornings as people are playing weekend league, buying cards, looking at Bappe back all the way up to 855,000 coins because people are playing weekend leagues, trying to get their rewards, trying to get packs for the new promo. And there's a pretty good team of the week again this week uh, with Ronaldo, with Ben Yedder, you know, some of those guys in that team of the week. So there's demand for weekend league. I doubt we will see a lot of panic today. And I doubt we'll see a lot of meta card prices dropping at least before content. Now, once content comes around, again, it depends on the pack weight for sure. Uh, but if the pack weight for the new cards today isn't that great, what else are people going to sell for? And what else is going to make the market move today? Or is it just going to be kind of a pretty quiet promo Friday if all that it is is some new cards, an OK SBC, um, and maybe an objective, right? The only thing that could also shake up the market today, in my opinion, is this 89 plus FIFA World Cup um, Prime or World Cup icon upgrade. And think back to last week. We had an 87 plus Hero or World Cup Hero player pick that refreshed as well at content. And last week, yeah, Future Stars Team 2 was cool, but that SBC that refreshed last week, that Hero Pack, actually made prices drop on a decent amount of cards, even some of the cards that were going uh, out of packs, right? Future Stars from Team Number 1, these guys were going out of packs last week, and their prices actually ended up dropping a little bit on most cards, not all of them, but on some of them. Some of your out-of-packs cards ended up dropping in price as well, um, and especially on the Saturday. If we go on the 14-day graph, you can see that the Alfonso Davies last weekend on Friday was very high, right? Friday content drop came around, and then boom, he went from 360 all the way down to 325. Now, part of that was because people were investing in him because of the Musiala, but the market dropped off a decent amount last Friday because people were going and doing that SBC because it refreshed, and that was kind of like the best part of content last week. If this is the best part of content this week that most people want to go out and do, then I also think the market could see small drop-offs today, but overall, I'm not really expecting a big crash on the market. I could see another drop on the market on Saturday, though, if it's a pretty uneventful day like we saw last week, right? You remember like guys like Harry Kane, uh, he dropped last week uh, from 372,000 coins. He was down at like 320 on Monday, right? Kind of back up now to like the three or around the same price, 320s uh, right now on this market. But a lot of cards are down from where they were last weekend. As kind of, That was kind of like a peak, right? Kulabali was 580, went down to 505. Now it's kind of back to like 530 to 540. So I do believe we could see a bit of a drop off this weekend, but I'm, I'm not saying we're going to have like a crazy, crazy crash. I would just say be careful as always with cards that you're maybe 
holding on to. Uh, investing for Future Stars team number two as these cards go out of packs. Last week, there were very minimal movements on cards uh, and very little profits on cards from team one. I would imagine today is going to be just about the same. Uh, you know, maybe with, um, I don't know, Enzo Fernandez probably won't move with a Wesley Fofana getting dropped in the game today. Musiala probably won't move that much with the Goretzka, maybe a little bit. Uh, Fagioli with the um, you new know, left wing. For Chiesa, maybe he moves a little bit right, but I'm not expecting to see these cards like absolutely explode today by any means on this game just because it just doesn't feel like the market right now has a lot of room to still go up, right? We've been talking about this for a while. It seems like there's more room for the market to drop than it is to go up, and that's why we're being still pretty careful with card prices, but with the content being just okay over the past week and nothing super crazy to make the market move, a lot of prices have stayed kind of up and maybe even rebounded a little bit from where they were on Monday, which is why I do believe Road to the Final also brings some more hype with the live card aspect, and people will want to get these cards right away and put them in their team and hope that their player can you know their club can go all the way to the final and get a bunch of upgrades and then go up in price so people will be looking to invest in these cards from day one i personally wouldn't be buying them to invest on a day one unless something crazy happens today with pack supply but you know that could impact the market later out through this weekend but still there's a lot of gameplay demand today so i would say prices will probably maintain some pretty similar values unless there is a big shock uh, from EA Sports. Now, let's talk about that 89 plus pack once again. Let's talk about fodder just for a little bit here towards the end of the video. Uh, fodder prices last week, they kind of defied gravity, if you will. They defied the odds of what we thought they were going to do. Since so few people were opening packs last week for Future Stars Team 2, fodder actually went up after content as that player pick refresh for the heroes. And it's kind of the same similar scenario that we have this week with the 89 plus World Cup and Prime Icon refresh could fodder go up today i feel like there will be more people opening lightning rounds today for road to the final than there were last week with team two of future stars that's just my personal opinion since it's a champions league based promo you've got players from big clubs in here you've got some good name players it's not like an absolutely insane squad again but you know barella fofana goretzka right the firmino card Alaba being a big name like th there's going to be people that want to open packs today for sure on this game and open some lightning rounds so I'm not like, expecting fodder to absolutely like soar in price uh, but I could see some prices on fodder going up a little bit at first today because this 89 plus icon did move the market last week if you remember what moved the most when it was first dropped 88s moved pretty well and so did 91s like I remember buying 91s last weekend at like 61k they went all the way to like 69,000 coins 70,000 coins so you know these guys are back down a little bit not low enough that i'm really interested in investing in them uh what were they yesterday at their lowest like 62k maybe then i would have bought a couple but that's something to watch out for today on this game there's a lot of fodder demand still right this 89 plus is refreshing today and then tomorrow on saturday we're going to get that 86 plus player pick dropping once again so i do think fodder will have some demand today but it'll also have some supply so i'm not expecting crazy movements uh maybe just a couple fluctuations here or there and maybe a slight rise on some of it just because of uh, people wanting to do that icon pack today now also today i think the biggest amount of pack openings that you're going to see today on this game and i'm sure some of you guys are doing this is you're saving up some of these packs from future star swaps like i'm tempted to open an 84 times 20 pack maybe an 85 times 10 i'm working on the tokens to get the 84 20 the only advice i would give you is there's probably going to be a mini release so like we say most oftentimes when you're going to open a big pack like this if there's an sbc that you want to craft go ahead and open it but if you can wait I would definitely wait to open an 8420, an 8510, or anything along those lines until we get a mini release probably on Saturday or Sunday. That would just give you a couple extra cards in packs to potentially get, of course, and tradable. At least give you a little bit better chance with more cards and packs. That's one little tip I would uh, give you. But a lot of people are going to open some of those packs today just because new cards are out, road to the final, live cards, and that will get people opening some packs today. So I think it'll be a W day today. Hopefully the content surprises us a little bit and surpasses our expectations. And hopefully these road to the final cards that drop on FIFA today uh, are somewhat packable and uh, have really good stats because I think we're all just hoping for something above average because it feels like everything we've had since team of the year has just been okay we're looking for something greater than okay today on fifa 23 so if you're excited for road to the final today drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you do have any questions and of course subscribe 
If you are new, it's been Nate's account, and I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Peace.